My name's Guy Hibbert, and I am the screenwriter. I'd worked with David Oyelowo a couple of times before. We kept in contact. Um, I think he had a feeling for my writing. I obviously had a feeling for his acting. And I got a phone call from him saying he'd found this rather interesting book uh, by Susan Williams about uh, Ruth and Soretzi. And uh, would I have a look at it? And could I come over to uh, LA and um, discuss it with a, with a producer who, who, he, who he was with at the time? Actually, I, David can play pretty much anything. I, actually, I could think of I could think I could write a script, and then you'd think probably, well, actually, David could play that role, or he could play that role, or he could play that role. I mean, he's just he's a he's a very very fine actor. For him, it was a love project, and for me, it was a love project. So I spent about three months trying to um, work out how to tell the story. It's told, it's, it, it takes place over a 20-year period, so one doesn't want the story to be episodic. So um, it was, it was a, it's just working out how to reduce it into sort of a, a, in, so it has a nice flow as a, as a, as a film script. And what is so glorious about the story is that, is that uh, they are so much in love that actually no one can defy it, no one can break it down. They are absolutely immovable and I just love the sense that there are these two people. Whatever is thrown at them, they just say, no, 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 we're staying together, we're in love, this is who we are, you have to deal with it, don't tell us what we have to do, we're in the right, now what are you going to do? I must have met about 30 people who knew him over the years and every single one of them said that he was the loveliest, kindest, gentlest uh, man that they have ever met and not a single, single word of criticism, it's quite unusual. So he obviously had this, this charm, this, this charm's actually the wrong word, he obviously had this sort of real inner core of, of, of humanity in him that, uh, um, that made him one of the great leaders. She does look fantastic in the part, there's something, there's something in, the, in, the, in the eyes and in the look that you pick up and you're thinking, that's going to work. She's very passionate about telling love stories and uh, the story is you really want a good balance between the politics, which is what I'm kind of known for or, or quite good at, and, uh, and the love story. So hopefully my politics and her love will be a good combination. Okay, let's just start with Botswana. For them, there is there is, that nobody has told the history of their country, and actually, if you in, in many many African countries, and Botswana is one of them, the hist history is not rem is not remembered. It's not told. It would be really helpful for Botswana to look back and and have that memory of what Soretsi did and and how good he was, and see him as an example. It'd be great if it's if it's well received here, but it, that, that for me, the key to its success is if if it does well in 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 Africa. I think it might strengthen people's resolve to uh, say, yeah, if I'm if I'm if I'm black, I can marry a white woman. If I'm a white woman, I can marry a, a black person. And uh, you know, what's what's the deal? It's a love story that actually it does tr it transforms a people, it transforms an area, it transforms, as it turns out, a country.